In classical thermodynamics, entropy is a measure of the disorder or randomness in a system. However, in the context of black holes, the concept of entropy takes on a more profound meaning, as it is intimately connected to the information content and quantum nature of black holes. The concept of black hole entropy offers a window into the mysterious and interconnected nature of the universe, and it raises profound questions about the nature of information and the underlying structure of spacetime. It also has deep implications for our understanding of fundamental laws of physics, including the connections between gravity, quantum mechanics, and thermodynamics. Furthermore, the relationship between black hole entropy and the area of the event horizon hints at a fundamental link between gravity and thermodynamics, paving the way for the development of theories such as string theory and quantum gravity. The black hole entropy, also called bekenstein hawking entropy, is a concept with geometric roots and many physical consequences. It ties together notions from gravitation, thermodynamics and quantum theory, and is regarded as a window into the mostly hidden world of quantum gravity. The formula for the entropy of a black hole is given by the bekenstein hawking formula. The bekenstein hawking formula suggests that the entropy of a black hole is proportional to the area of its event horizon. The entropy is proportional to the surface area of its event horizon, rather than its volume. This surprising result was first derived by Jacob Bekenstein and further supported by Stephen Hawking's work on black hole thermodynamics. This implies that as matter falls into a black hole, increasing its mass and surface area, the entropy of the black hole also increases. This formula implies that black holes possess an enormous amount of entropy, proportional to the surface area of their event horizons. This revelation suggests that black holes store a vast amount of information about the matter that formed them. A black hole may be considered as a locale of very high curvature. It is usually formed from the collapse of a quantity of matter or radiation, both of which carry entropy. However, the hole's interior and contents are veiled to an exterior observer. Thus, a thermodynamic description of the collapse from an observer's viewpoint cannot be based on the entropy of that matter or radiation, because these are unobservable. Associating entropy with the black hole provides a handle on the thermodynamics. A stationary black hole is parametrized by just a few numbers. Its mass, electric charge and angular momentum. Also, its magnetic monopole charge, except its actual existence in nature has not been demonstrated yet. While electric charges can exist in two forms, positive and negative, magnetic monopoles would be isolated either north or south magnetic poles, without the corresponding opposite pole. This means that magnetic monopoles would act as sources, or sinks, of magnetic field lines, similar to the way positive or negative electric charges act as sources or sinks of electric field lines. The existence of magnetic monopoles would challenge our understanding of fundamental symmetries and the structure of physical laws. It would imply a departure from the conventional Maxwell's equations of electromagnetism, which currently do not include magnetic monopoles. In the context of black holes, their existence would introduce additional complexity to black hole dynamics and its interactions with surrounding matter and radiation. This could lead to unique observational signatures that may help identify the presence of magnetic monopoles in astrophysical environments. For any specific choice of these parameters, one can imagine many scenarios for the black hole's formation. Thus, there are many possible internal states corresponding to a black hole. In thermodynamics, one meets a similar situation, many internal microstates of a system are all compatible with the one observed macrostate. Thermodynamic entropy quantifies the said multiplicity. By blocking all signal travel through it, the event horizon prevents an external observer from receiving information about the black hole, except the mentioned parameters. Thus, a black hole can be said to hide information. In ordinary physics, entropy is a measure of missing information. From a thermodynamic perspective, entropy is often associated with the amount of information needed to describe the state of a system. In the case of black holes, the entropy represents the information that is inaccessible to external observers due to the presence of the event horizon. The idea that entropy is a measure of missing information in the context of black holes is further supported by the ADS-CFT correspondence, also known as the holographic principle, which offers a potential resolution to the black hole information paradox, concerning the fate of information that falls into a black hole. The theory posits that the information content of a region of space can be encoded on its boundary. Furthermore, by relating black hole physics to a unitary quantum field theory, ADS-CFT suggests that information is not lost, but is encoded in subtle correlations among the quantum states of the Hawking radiation emitted by the black hole. 
This principle suggests a deep connection between entropy, information, and the geometry of spacetime, hinting at a profound relationship between gravity and quantum mechanics. Black hole entropy should only depend on the observable properties of the black hole, mass, electric charge and angular momentum. It turns out that these three parameters enter only in the same combination as that which represents the surface area of the black hole. One way to understand why is to recall the area theorem of Hawking, Meisner, Thorne and Wheeler. The area theorem states that the event horizon area of a black hole cannot decrease. It increases in most transformations of the black hole, this increasing behavior is reminiscent of thermodynamic entropy of closed systems. Thus, it is reasonable that the black hole entropy should be a monotonic function of area, and it turns out to be a simple function. The statement provides a simplified expression for black hole entropy using fundamental constants, such as the speed of light, Newton's gravitational constant, and Planck's constant. This expression highlights the relationship between black hole entropy and the area of its event horizon, while also shedding light on the intriguing connection between gravity and entropy in the context of black holes. In statistical mechanics, the entropy S is a measure of the multiplicity of microstates that hide behind one particular macrostate. A special case of this is Boltzmann's formula, where W is the number of equally probable microstates of a particular macrostate. Since black hole entropy is similar to ordinary entropy, as it participates in the second law of thermodynamics, many have wondered what are the microstates counted by black hole entropy. There are many different interpretations of black hole entropy, which we will enlist next. Black hole entropy counts the number of internal states of matter and gravity. The perception that a particular black hole can be formed in many ways originally suggested the notion of black hole entropy. In this approach, the internal states of matter and gravity are the attempts for microstates. Black hole entropy is the entropy of entanglement between degrees of freedom inside and outside the horizon. For a black hole formed by collapse, the quantum field degrees of freedom external to the horizon should be entangled with those inside it. To an external observer, the last are not accessible, so the meaningful state would be the one from which internal degrees of freedom have been removed. Even if the global state was pure and thus entropy-free, this reduced state will be a mixed one and have entropy associated with it. The entanglement entropy is proportional to the horizon area, but it requires renormalization by physical arguments. Black hole entropy counts the number of horizon gravitational states. It has been suggested that the attempts for states are the states of the gravitational degrees of freedom residing on the black hole's horizon, an approach based on the group of symmetries at the horizon. Black hole entropy is a conserved quantity connected with coordinate invariance of the gravitational action. This abstract approach has been considered in more general theories of gravity than general relativity. Technically, black hole entropy is the noter charge of the diffeomorphism symmetry. Black hole entropy is thermal entropy of the gas of quanta constituting the thermal atmosphere of the black hole. The atmosphere concept comes from Thorne, Zurek and T. Hooft the last of whom introduced the concept of a brick wall to keep the said atmosphere from contacting the horizon, and thus making the entropy infinite. This approach recovers the proportionality of entropy to horizon area. Black hole entropy counts the number of states or excitations of a fundamental string. Strings in string theory have a variety of excitations, so there is a multitude of string states. Therefore, a string has entropy, which turns out to be proportional to its mass. This is quite in contrast with black hole entropy. However, an argument suggests that by reducing the string coupling constant sufficiently slow, it is possible to shrink a black hole's size as well as to reduce its mass, while keeping its entropy constant. Eventually, it gets to be the size of a string length, where the black hole will not be distinguishable from a string. At the corresponding value of the coupling constant, string and black hole entropy are quite similar. This has been taken to mean that there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between black hole and string states, where both entities have the same entropy. This picture has been corroborated in the context of five-dimensional extreme black holes, hence black hole entropy can be understood in terms of string entropy. Black hole entropy is equivalent to the thermal entropy of the radiation residing on the boundary of the spacetime containing the black hole. The ADS-CFT correspondence is a mapping between gravitational degrees of freedom of a certain spacetime and the matter degrees of freedom residing on its boundary. 
In particular, certain string theories in five-dimensional anti-de-sitter spacetime are so mapped to conformal field theories on the corresponding spacetime's four-dimensional boundary, which bear some resemblance to Minkowski spacetime. It has been shown that the entropy of a black hole residing in the bulk anti-de-sitter spacetime equals that of the thermal radiation of the fields residing on its boundary. All in all, through the lens of black hole entropy, we glimpse the intricate dance of information, where the laws of thermodynamics intersect with the mysteries of quantum mechanics. Yet, even as we peer into the depths of these cosmic giants, we are reminded that much remains to be discovered. The quest of understanding black hole entropy beckons us onward, offering a glimpse into the fabric of spacetime and the fundamental nature of the universe.